guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I thought that I would do one of my normal videos that I do every single month, which is unboxing beauty subscription boxes. So it is October, which means new products, and I have a few new ones to show you. I do have a lot this month, so I'm just gonna like jump straight into it and show you what's new. So first up, I'm gonna start off with Glossy Box. So Glossy Box will set you back 10 pounds per month, and for October, they've done something very clever and different. So you either get a treat or trick box. So I have both because I have two subscriptions, would you believe? And I, oh, blooming hell, that scared me. Why am I out of breath? I only ran down the stairs. If you didn't know already, Glossy Box have released an advent calendar this month. So I've actually unboxed it on this channel and I'm gonna leave the link down in the description and I'm also gonna leave a buy link. So if you wanna go and get it, it probably will sell out really quickly. So you can get it for 99 pounds if you're a non-subscriber, but if you're subscribed to Glossy Box, you can get it for 75 pounds, but the contents inside are worth 300 pounds and it's still currently number one on my Altoria League advent calendar chart, so go check it out. Right, okay, I'm gonna start with treat first and show you guys what's inside. As always, packaged beautifully. I love the autumnal burgundy color, love that. First up, we've got the Sleek Makeup Eye Divine Mineral Base Eyeshadow Palette. So this looks like it's got 12 colors. Lovely palette. So you've got a lot of blush pinks, you've also got purples, you've got browns, and you've also got like a bluey gray in there. So half of them are matte colors and the other are shimmer. And it also comes with an eyeshadow applicator there. Next up, we've got an in-transit camera close-up and this is a mask, moisturizer and primer in one and it's from This Works. So this is just like a moisturizer for the skin. So you pop it on, leave it to absorb and let it do its magic. This product looks lovely. So this is the Luna by Luna and it's a translucent powder. I love a good translucent powder. Here we go, we've got a really good size in this lovely little pot. Oh, it comes with a, like a little, oh, what do you call it? Like a little pad, that's really nice. It feels really soft. So this is a great product to use if you like to bake your makeup. I always use translucent powder and it does a top notch job. Then we got a strobe and glow highlighter kit and this is by MUA Look, that is gorgeous. So this is definitely like a pinky champagne color. It's massive. This is gonna last a blooming long time that is. Finally, we have something very special, which is an inner mask product, and it's the Animetta lipstick. This looks insane, and this is in the color Nebula. I think that's actually been one of the strongest boxes that Glossy Box have ever produced. I'm loving that, but let's see what trick has inside. I'm hoping that it's the same. Could you imagine if they pops like I don't know, like coal in there, that would not be good. Okay, there we go, so it just says trick on the front. So we actually have exactly the same products in the trick box, is it? We're on trick? Yeah, exactly the same products, which is great. So moving on to Birch Box. Now Birch Box is again one of my favorites and it's also 10 pounds a month. But if you join up in October, you can actually get a free lipstick, which is worth about 20 pounds, which is a great thing. So just check their website for the code that you have to pop in at checkout. So a little drawer, lovely. And it does look very autumnal. I'm loving like the colors. I'm loving like autumn. It's my favorite season. And on the front, it says day like these. Right, so first up, we've got an N4 product, which is a high performance hair care. So this is meant to prep and protect the hair. So this is a leave-in conditioner and it's great for all types of hair. And it also says that it also has UV protection in there. Next, we have an Amica product. I Blum and love Amika. I've been using them for the last year. They do have a very good dry shampoo. And this is called Soul Food and it's a nourishing mask. So this is for the hair and it's meant to uh, really rehydrate and add a bit of injection of hydration. So you leave on for five to seven minutes and then you rinse well. Then we've got a Daily Concept, which is a multi-function and soap sponge and it's a charcoal one. This is new. I'm seeing a lot of these recently. Apparently it's gentle, mild, and it's vigorous. It's pretty much like a bar of soap. It does feel, I don't know, it, 
it looks like a lump of coal, doesn't it? Smells great, it smells just like a spa. Next up, we've got a Max Factor product and this is the 2000 calorie dramatic volume. So it is full size. Let's have a look at the head. It looks a little bit dry. Then we've just got a little sample of hydration recharge and it's an overnight cream. And this is by a finish product, which is called the mean. Then finally we have a Beauty Pro mask and this is the Thermotherapy and it's a warming gold foil mask. I am so excited to try this. I love warming masks, namely the Seventh Heaven ones are pretty good, but this, yes, and it's gold. Who doesn't like a gold mask? That is Birchbox this month. Um, admittedly, I think Glossy Box is way better this month, um, but there are some really nice products in here, but Glossy Box, done a blooming good job, haven't you? Now we are moving on to Rockbox. Now the reason why I like to support Rockbox is that the owner of the company is a YouTuber. And I think that's such a great thing. I think when YouTubers do um, entrepreneurial things, I think it's very clever and it should be highly regarded. So well done, Carly. I cannot wait to see what's in this month. So Rockerbox is £10 a month. First up, we are starting with the Hair On Detangle Brush. Oh, it's a very nice size for the handbag. Look at that. It's like a Tangle Tease, but smaller. It reminds me of a ladybug. I don't know why. Screaming ladybug. Next we've got a Coco and Eve product and this is called Like a Virgin and it's a super nourishing coconut and fig hair mask. That smells so good. Oh, what a treat. It's actually probably one of the nicest smelling hair masks I've smelled in a while. Next we've got a Fruity Magic product and it's called Rejuvenating Cream Mask. So this is by Uha. Oh ha, looks like a yogurt brand. So this is a face mask which has a lot of vitamins in it. So you've got green tea, you've got vitamins A, C and E and it's the perfect detoxifying mask apparently. Then we've got a perfume sample. So this is Agent Provocateur. Oh, that sounds nice. And this is called Aphrodisiac. Aphrodisiac, ah, does it have jasmine in it? Because apparently jasmine is a very good aphrodisiac. Oh, it does have a strong smell in it. It definitely has a slight bit of jasmine in it, pretty sure. Then finally, we've got Cotton Candy by Baloo and this is a gentle cream foam. I've never tried a foam lotion before. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna give this a go. It's just like shaving cream. Does smell like candy floss. And what's nice about this product, some lotions make your hands feel a bit greasy. This doesn't. This is very light. So that is Rockerbox for this month. Really loving the foam lotion. Again, it's something that I've never tried before, but still, Glossy Box still is probably the best one so far. Now we're moving on to Cohorted. So we're moving on to more expensive subscription box. Now this is 35 pounds, but this comes with more luxurious brands, more high-end ones. Um, Cohorted I've been getting for ages absolutely ages and I am never disappointed. Let's have a little look at October's box. First up, I'm going for the largest item and this is by CEO and it's a rapid flash brightening serum. So it's got a lot of vitamin C in it and it's a Sunday Riley product. Nice. This looks full size and I love the packaging. It looks so nice. Now let me just see what kind of skin this is good for. It doesn't actually say, but it does say that apparently it evens out your skin tone. So if you've got blemishes or anything like that, this might be a good product to try. I'm excited to use this because I do have some acne scarring on my cheek. So I'm intrigued to see how that reacts to my skin. Next up, we do have a highbrow product and it's by Benefit. This looks amazing. It's a pinker shade. It's definitely like a blush. It isn't like a white or a creamy color. It's definitely more of a pink. Next up, we've got Figs and Rouge and this is a Hydra Matte Pore Correction Velvet 
cream. So again, it is a brightening product and it has vitamins A, C and E in it. We do have the Illamasqua product again and it's the Anti-Matter Lipstick. Is it the same colour? No, it's different. This is very autumnal. This is definitely my kind of shade. Now this is what I can describe as a very dark cinnamon colour. It's very on trend for autumn. Then finally, we do have another perfume sample and this is an Oscar de la Renta and it's the Bella Blanca perfume. I definitely prefer this perfume from the one that was in Rockerbox. So that is Cohorted. Now that was much more expensive than the others I showed you, but still, Glossy Box, what have you done to me this month? It's a blooming good box, right. Last up on the subscription front, which is, actually no, it's not last up, what am I doing? There's one more to go. So this is the Heart and Soul Bath and Body box. So this one I've got is a lemon scented one. Now it is a product which is handmade and made by someone in the USA. The only thing with this box, you do have to pay a custom charge if you ship it in from the United States. Now this will set you back $35. But I'm gonna show you anyway because it's so cute. It smells just like sherbet lemons and I love that they've embraced the lime and lemon theme. So, first product. So this is a lemon and almond body cream. A very nice size and you can see the natural lemon oil in it so you might have to give it a little shake. Oh goodness, that smells just like lemon sherbet, you know? I do love handmade things. I think it's very special and I appreciate all the work which goes into it. Now this is very much a thicker lotion. It feels so good on the skin. Next up we have, oh my gosh, this is amazing. So this is a fresh lemon body wash. That just looks like a freshly pressed bottle of lemonade. Oh my God, it's so cute. Again, sherbet lemons. Next, we have a bath bomb. And as you guys know, I love my bath bombs. And this is a lemon one by the looks of things. Yes, it is. Again, smells just like the other two products. So like a massive lemon bomb bomb. Up next, we do have another lemon bath bomb. Is it the same? Yep, they're the same. There we go. Then you've got some lemon bath salt. I reckon this is gonna smell just like the others. Now, I much prefer bath bombs and bubble bath over to bath salts. Like sometimes I pop in bath salts, but very rarely. Then we have a fresh lemon sugar scrub. This looks so exciting. So this product feels quite stiff. It's not even moving. So I reckon I'm gonna to have to like perhaps, not warm it up, but like pop it on my hand and run it under warm water. Smells great. To be fair, Handmade scrubs from Lush are quite solid, so it's it's very similar to that. It's actually a bit more buttery than the ones from Lush. That is everything in that one. So we have got six items and they're all handmade and I think that's really special. What a lovely box. Handmade stuff takes so much longer to produce and I appreciate everything that's in that box. So finally, we've got Reading in Hills. Now this costs 10 pounds a month and it's a literacy book subscription, which is very new. So I'm really intrigued to see what they've popped in there. So apparently they put in the latest literacy in there. Oh, you've got little treats as well. So it also comes with grapefruit and basil chocolate. Wow, never tried that before. You've also got a water enhancer. What do you do with that? You put it in your drink. And you've also got some Silk Soak, which is a skin hydrating bath potion. So the book I have this month is The Rise and Fall of Becky Sharp, which is by Sarah Manning. So if you are a brilliant book lover, I love that, brilliant book lover, then this is probably like a nice thing to go for, especially if you read a book, I don't know, like once a month. Maybe give this a go. I'm really fussy with books. They have to have a particular font size. This like passes because it's not too small. If the font is too small, I won't read it. Takes me back to my law degree days. So that is everything in October's subscriptions. I think this month has been very, very strong. I really like the last two. I love a handmade box and I think the book one's a very nice idea, but on the beauty front, I definitely think that Glossy Box wins hands down. Um, they have really, 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 
I'm just gonna say really for a long time. They do always have a strong box and this month has just been top notch. Don't forget to subscribe because I do these videos every single month and also hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. But as always guys, please make sure that you link, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time for another video.